Welcome back. If you've got buyer's remorse about Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton as the two big options, well, you might be interested to know that there is a potentially better system for choosing candidates. It's called ranked voting. And in that system, voters would list candidates in order of preference instead of voting for just one. And that means two things. First, there cannot be a spoiler candidate. And second, you may not get your favorite politician, but you almost certainly won't wind up with one everybody hates. Well, look who's here. It's Nirvana legend and political reformer Chris Novoselic. He is a proponent of ranked choice voting, and he joins me now. Uh, Chris, welcome. Welcome back. Hi. Hi, Kennedy. Hi. So let's talk about this, because I've heard Ralph Nader discuss this, and, and 2016 seems like the perfect year if only we had ranked choice voting. How does it work? It works. It's kind of like, you know when you vote in a primary election, and you vote for your favorite candidate, they count the votes. And if your favorite candidate wins, then they go to the general election and you vote for them again. Yeah. But however, if your favorite candidate loses in the primary, then you've got to pick a second choice yeah. in the uh, general. And so what ranked choice voting does is it folds the primary and the general election into one election. And okay. it does that because you have the ability to rank candidates. So you get a first choice, a second choice, a third choice. And so you put your favorite candidate down as number one and your acceptable candidate is number two, and you don't, if you don't have any more candidates you like, you don't, you don't have to rank anymore. All right, very good. So uh, it, it's, like, it's like picking a school or something. Um, now, I've heard Ralph Nader say that none of the above is one of the choices, and if none of the above wins, you start over with all new candidates. No, this has nothing to do with none of the above. Okay, so that's, Ralph, that's a Ralph Naderism. It doesn't waste your time. Like, none of the above is just a waste of time. This gives voters power. Yeah. Okay, so you can just vote your conscience. You can vote for a candidate you'd really want to see elected without s super worrying about somebody getting elected that you don't want elected at all. Now, you have been very vocal in your support of former New Mexico Governor Gary Johnson, yes. who's obviously running on the Libertarian ticket. Uh, people must tell you that you are throwing your vote away, that um, you are destroying the election, and that is a spoiler candidate. What do you say to those people? I say forget it. I'm going to vote for Gary Johnson, and that's the way I feel about it. You know, and it just seems like the rules, the current rules, give people incentive to like vote strategically. Like they want to vote for somebody they hate. On my Facebook feed, people are freaking out like over Donald Trump and uh, Hillary Clinton. Yeah. So I'm going to do this rating system, right? So like if you're super freaked out about Donald Trump, then you get like five red hats, okay? Kay. If you're only halfway freaked out, you'll get like two or three red hats. Mm -hmm. And if you're freaked out about Hillary Clinton getting elected, then you get five pantsuits. Okay. Or, like two. So it's like a sure. rating system. So. And with ranked choice voting, you can put down, your, again, you put down your favorite candidate, mm -hmm. and uh, if uh, they don't get uh, a majority, if no one gets a majority, they kick out the last place uh, vote getter. Yeah. And redistribute those voters, those voters, second and third choices to the remaining I don't candidates. I how I feel about redistribution, because it sounds like communism. You just it's came not from communism. No? Okay, so you, just, you just came from Maine. Who voted in, under communism? Nobody. That's a good point. This is legal in the United States. Okay, and, and you just came from Maine. Literally, today, right. you came from Maine, and they're talking about this system in their state. What did you uh, hear from people? Well, there? I found out people are really excited. Again, again, there's a lot of tension. People have anxiety over the election, over yeah. who's going to win and all, over who's going to lose. You know, 2.4 million people vote in 10 cities, they use ranked choice voting yeah. in, in local elections. So it's, it's, a, it's a system in use and they in like the United it? States. They love it. Yeah, it's a popular system. It gives voters more power. Yeah. And I, that's why I'm really excited about yeah, it. Yeah, and, and that's a good point because voters feel disenfranchised. They, they feel like their power has been taken away from them. And I think Donald Trump is tapping into that, talking about these rigged systems, um, you know, which I, I don't necessarily agree with him, but that's neither here yeah, nor there. Yeah, I don't agree with that either, that it's, that it's rigged. However, I, I do feel that we need more choices. We go to the supermarket, we get more choices. We love we're, choice. We're a choice. We go online, we choose our cell phones, mm -hmm. we're all connected, and then we go to the voting booth, and then we get this binary choice between two candidates. Yeah, we need Amazon Prime for elections. Absolutely. We, we need it instantly. We need customer reviews and ratings. And more than anything, we need choices, especially in this year. 